Drivers will see you wave back, set them off in style as they go for 40 laps here at the Angola Motorsports Speedway. Glenbrook Hyundai Pace Car is off. Joe Eller, flying Brian Nestor, Brock Coyer, Mike Kugler, John Gerhardt, Robbie Henderson. Into three off of four. Green flag, we are racing. Chad Garman, uh, along with Alexandra up there in the flag stand, got to wave the green flag. Of course, some of, the, of our friends from Farmer State Bank. So thanks to Chad for throwing out the green flag. Nestor, your early leader, riding that high line. Ellert slides back into second. Kugler battling Coyer for third. Kugler is now broken away from Coyer. Tries to track down Ellert for the second position. Henderson now fighting with Coyer there on the inside. The 212 dropping back. So move Brock Coyer back a few positions now as Gerhardt fights alongside. Brent Jack right there in the 41 trying to make his way from the back of the pack. Kugler slips around Ellert. Now Henderson does the same thing. So move Mike Kugler up to second. Robbie Henderson to third. Battle shaping up for the top spot. Nestor has a car length advantage over Mike Kugler. Ellert getting run up the track now by Gerhardt. He loses two more positions. So Joe Ellert all the way back to sixth. Here comes jumping Jack Landis to the inside. Ryan Nestor, Mike Kugler battling for the lead. The black flag being shown to Mike Kugler, I believe. Brian Nestor getting the black flag. Something smoking on that car. A lot of smoke out of the 10. New leader, Mike Kugler, Robbie Henderson up to second. Now here comes Brent Jack down on the inside, gets around Gerhardt. Now Landis trying to do the same in turn four. Here two fast qualifiers, Brent Jack and Jack Landis trying to navigate through traffic. Brent Jack now up to third, Landis trying to take fourth. Twelve laps in, 28 to go. Kugler, Henderson, Jack have broken away from the pack. machine of Andrew Smith just about a half a straightaway back to your leader Mike Kugler so a little bit of lap traffic Kugler gonna have to navigate his way around he has a four car length advantage as now a battle shapes up for second between Robbie Henderson and Brent Jack 15 laps in now 16 as Kugler crosses the start finish line the lap car of Andrew Smith Moves up and out of the way of your leaders.
Banks tightening up up front. The 45 of Henderson starting to run down your leader, Kugler, but he has all kinds of pressure from Brent Jack as we're halfway. 20 laps into this 40 lapper. Halfway that time around, Mike Kugler. About a six car length advantage over Robbie Henderson. Brent Jack and Jack Landis still trying to make their way through. Battles on in one and two. The 41 of Jack has a wheel alongside Henderson. Drag race down the back stretch. Jack gets loose up into the side of Henderson and goes around. Coming to the restart, Mike Kugler now has Henderson up alongside. Landis looming there in third. One to go at the line. Still 19 laps remaining in this one. Good looking restart off turn four. Green flag back in the air. Henderson. Good strong run on the outside for Robbie Henderson. Draws even now with Kugler. Oh, contact between Kugler and Henderson. Your flat right rear tire looks like on Mike Kugler's car. Off turn four, green flag. Back underway. Joe Ellert and Brent Jack making their way by Brock Coyer up front. Landis clears Henderson off turn four. Jack Landis from the back now to the front and pulling away from Robbie Henderson. Four car breakaway up front. Landis, Henderson, Gerhardt, and Everidge. Little contact between Everidge and Gerhardt. Greg Everidge getting a little racy, got into the back of Gerhardt. Everybody keeps it straight. Battles on for third. 25 laps in the books now. 15 to go. Greg Everidge sliding sideways. Here comes Brent Jack in the 41. After that earlier spin, he's already back up to third now. Everidge got by Gerhardt. Now Brent Jack got by both of them. Jack Landis, Robbie Henderson, Brent Jack, your top three. Brent Jack now looking to the inside of Henderson. This isn't deja vu, this is the same thing we had a few laps ago when Jack got loose on the bottom. Gonna be 10 laps remaining as Jack Landis works his way. Off turn four, 10 laps to go for Jack Landis. Craig Everidge. Having problems and Brent Jack goes around again. This time in turn one and two, locking up the brakes and goes around alongside Henderson again. Giving up that spot easily as Brent Jack for the second time. Slow pace into turn three, Landis now on the gas. And green flag, we're back racing with 10 laps to go. Ellert getting a little loose back in the pack, everybody keeps it going. Jack Landis, no problem clearing Henderson this time. Works his way off turn four, nine laps to go with the line. Brent Jack now for the second time trying to work his way back up through the field. And 
to set and sail now. Here comes Gerhardt down on the inside of Henderson. Abby Henderson struggling a little bit right now. Here comes Gerhardt down low, puts a bumper to him in turn four. Side by side off turn two and down the back stretch. Robbie Henderson drops a wheel off the back stretch, gives up some ground. John Gerhardt now up to second. All alone up front, jumping Jack Landis out for a Saturday night cruise with five laps to go. Gerhardt not able to close in as Landis maintains about an eight car length advantage. Two laps to go this time at the line for jumping Jack Landis. White flag in the air, one lap to go. Landis, Gerhardt, Henderson, your top three. For the final time off turn four, jumping Jack Landis wins the AverageAuto.com Super Late. Feature tonight here at the Angola Motorsport Speedway, John Gerhardt comes home second. Give him a hand, jumping Jack Landis. Well, you're a fast qualifier tonight. Uh, you got a pretty bad draw on the invert there earlier. Well, good draw if you want to see a show put on. Uh, there for a while, kind of looked like you're just riding. Got up there to about third or fourth, and uh, let them boys do their thing in front of you, and then got them on the restart. This thing looked pretty sporty out there. Yeah, it was pretty good. I want to thank my owner, Mark Matson, everything he gives us here, and uh, all the guys that helped me. Uh, uh, they, they just keep digging, they keep trying. Every time we came out tonight, we had something different on this thing. We haven't quite got it figured out. The driver's not happy, but they never are. And uh, I want to thank everybody for a, a good race there. Yeah, we had a lot of sparks. That's what we want, and we ended up winning. All right, congratulations, and continue to celebrate in victory lane. I don't think there's a scratch on this car, Jack. 